What is up guys? Today, big stuff happening in the charts. We got a very, very big moment here because we are at an inflection point on the trend. What we can see for Bitcoin is that we have higher lows, an upward sloping trend line. But what's interesting is that we're now retesting 50 on the daily RSI. And if you zoom out, you'll notice that 50 has been probably the most key level on this entire downtrend. Because whenever we get to it, in the past at least, we would see it as resistance. And this, was, this is our attempt to flip it into support. And every major uptrend usually has 50 acting as the support. Downtrends have 50 acting as the resistance. And we are now testing it. So if Bitcoin can bounce off of 50, then that is of course good, right? That means we're maintaining it. We're probably gonna get a higher low. But if we break below it, it could result in a flush right? Like this area here, when we broke below it, flush, right? So if you break 50, it could flush down. So the bulls need to hold this level. Daily MACD nearing a bearish cross as well. The bulls really need to hold this level if we're going to maintain an uptrend. In Ethereum, testing that upward sloping trend line. It is a potential breakdown level, unless of course we get a bounce. Very big stuff here. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're going to be discussing the price of Bitcoin. We are at a very important point on the chart. A lot of key signals showing that we are at an inflection point, right? This is either going to be a point of a major higher low in the continuation of an uptrend or we may get a major flush down depending on how this plays out in the near term. We're going to be discussing Bitcoin. We're going to be discussing Ethereum, which is also resting on the upward sloping trend line of the recent uptrend. Ethereum has been leading the market recently, so definitely important to keep your eye on ETH right now. Before we get started, just a couple things. First of all, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also be sure to watch my recent video, The Ethereum Merge, A New Beginning. This is a great mini documentary style video. It's very entertaining, I would say. So definitely check it out. It's definitely different than my other videos. And if you guys want to support this channel, be sure to join Patreon and join our VIP Discord chat in there. And then also we do have some rewards for signups. BitGet, $4,000 deposit bonus. I've been using this a lot. It is a US approved exchange. Without KYC, I've been using this one a lot recently, so definitely check it out. Use that link for the $4,000 coupon. Going back to Bitcoin, we are now sitting on this upward sloping trend line. What's most important now is the RSI on the daily. This has been pretty much the main signal for all major pivots, right? Going from, you know, uptrends to downtrends, uh, breakdown signals. The, the RSI has been fantastic at signaling this. Now, I want to bring your attention to the bull market here back in 2021. And the 50 level on the daily RSI was really the main support. And as long as we held that, we were in an uptrend. The moment we broke it right here, when we had a clear break below, it was the downtrend right? And then, you know, 50 has been acting as resistance in a lot of areas. Like recently, we recently got back above it. And the key thing here for Bitcoin is holding 50, because if you hold 50, then it's likely an uptrend. You know, when you're above 50 and you're bouncing off of it, using it as support, that is usually a sign of a major uptrend taking place. But what we've seen on the downtrend recently is every time we break below 50, there, there is a flush to the downside. Look, this area right here, when we broke below it, we flushed to the downside. This area right here, when we broke below it, we flushed to the downside. So it's a very critical spot. If Bitcoin breaks below this point right here, it could result in a flush, a flush down, guys. It is quite possible, right? Right now, we're above 50, really close to it, 50.3 as I'm making this video. But guys, just like all these other times, I mean, this is just what the chart is telling me, right? This is not really an opinion-based statement. It's just whenever we break the RSI trend line, it results in a flush to the downside. So that is a super important signal to watch, right? If there's support found above 50, then that is an optimal long entry. But we're at the inflection point here, and we got to keep our eye on that 50 level on the daily RSI. Also, the daily MACD is about to cross but wait, oh, to the bearish side, right? About to cross to the bearish side. Again, if we, you know, if we can't find some kind of support bounce here, we're going to be have coinciding variables of a break below the trend line. 
a bearish MACD cross, and a breakdown of the RSI trend line. All of those things would coincide and that would be a major bearish signal. So the bulls really, really got to put in support right about now, guys. We cannot be falling below 22,000. If we are falling below 22,000, that is flush territory where we would flush into a new low. Ethereum is also testing a major upward sloping support that we started in you know mid-July there. And it's pretty obvious. It's an upward sloping trend line. If we break below it, we're breaking the trend and that could result in moves down, right? To at least, you know, right below 1400. I mean, in a situation like this, if we were going to get a breakdown, it could result in, you know, some kind of decrease in momentum, head and shoulders. That kind of stuff is possible um, if we do confirm a breakdown for Ethereum. But again, you know, we're just at a really, really in key inflection point. And if you look at the long-term chart, let's go to the three-day for Ethereum. You know, Ethereum has been the leader, so it's very important to look at. Major support from 2021 is now our resistance, right? So previous uh, support becomes resistance. We break down. This type of structure would not surprise me, like a longer-term base of support. That's why I'm considering maybe we would, you know, come down and create a longer, stronger base of support, retest the lows. Major accumulation would likely take place below this level, right? Below like 1,700, 1,000. In between that, 1,000, 1,700 is a great accumulation zone for the whales, right? That is pretty cheap in relative, you know, relative to the past year. We found support in 2021, you know, right above 1,700. Anything below that would, in theory, be a fantastic accumulation zone. So if the price remains down here, I still think it's a great opportunity for the long term for Ethereum. But we'll see, right? Right now, the way that Bitcoin's chart appears is that it appears to be, you know, at a at another area that where it's like, you know, upward sloping structure, flush down, upward sloping structure, flush down, upward sloping structure, possibly a flush down again for that next major low test. It's possible, but that's more of just like an opinion, what I'm seeing on the chart right there. I'm really just going to let the chart tell me, right? My opinion doesn't matter. What matters is the chart. If we bounce off of 50, then we're likely in a major uptrend at that point. But it's 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 so, it's so close to call. It's so close to call, and I'm not gonna um, you know make a call. I'm just gonna let the chart tell me, and I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, but it is looking like there is potential for another swing down. So while we have these signs saying that we could have another major leg down, there is also this huge news that we're seeing from Coinbase and BlackRock. We see that Coinbase, you know, the Coinbase stock shares have been soaring because of the BlackRock crypto deal. Coinbase announced a partnership with BlackRock, right? This is the 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 uh, fund that, you know, has trillions of dollars under management, as we know. Institutional clients will buy Bitcoin, you know, through Coinbase. We've seen a lot of um, institutions like, you know, Grayscale operating through Coinbase. Now it's going to be BlackRock operating through Coinbase. Major news for Coinbase. That is absolutely fantastic and a great fundamental update for the crypto space. So, you know, we have potential, you know, downside tests coming, but the fundamentals are building up positively, which could be, you know, a catalyst for more money to flow into the market to maybe avoid these bearish scenarios. So as we know, the crypto fundamentals just keep getting better. So it's hard to be bearish on the market when you see this kind of news. I'll tell you that, right? But again, we're just going to let the chart tell us what's happening next, right? So I'll keep you guys updated on all of this. Just wanted to hop on to here and, you know, explain what I see in the charts, what is possible. But um, it's nice to see the fundamentals building for crypto. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to this channel. We'll keep you guys updated. And also, of course, go ahead to the, my website if you want to support this channel. Check out all the links and I'll see you guys in the next video.